bad dreams to Robert Browning you in the flesh and hear, your very self. Now, wait. One word. May I hope or fear? Must I speak in love or hate? Stay while I ruminate. The fact and each circumstance dare you disown? Not you. That vast dome, that huge dance, and the gloom which overgrew a possibly festive crew. For why should men dance at all? Why women a crowd of both unless they are gay? Strange ball hands and feet plighting troth, yet partners enforced and loath. Of who danced there, no shape did I recognize, thwart, perverse, each grasped each, pass escape in a whirl or weary or worse, man as sneer met woman as curse, while he and she toiled as if their guardian set galley slaves to supple chained limbs grown stiff, unmanacled trolls and knaves the lash for who misbehaves. And a gloom was, all the while, deeper and deeper yet o'ergrowing the rank and file of that army of haters set to mimic love as fever fret. By the wall side close I crept, avoiding the livid maze. And, safely so far, outstepped on a chamber, a chapel, says my memory or betrays closet-like, kept aloof from unseemly witnessing what sport made floor and roof of the devil's palace ring while his damned amused their king. A, for low lamp burned, and a silence lay about what I, in the midst, discerned though dimly till, past doubt, t'was a sort of throne stood out high seat with steps, at least and the topmost step was filled by whom? What vestured priest? A stranger to me, his guilt, his cult, unreconciled to my knowledge how guilt and cult are clothed in this world of ours, I pondered, but no result came to, unless that G.A.R.S. so worshipped the lower powers. When suddenly who entered? Who knelt, did you guess I saw? Who, raising that face were centred allegiance to love and more so lately? Off casting all, down treading reserve, away thrusting respect. But mine stands firm, firm still shall stay. Ask Satan. For I decline to tell what I saw, in fine. Yet here in the flesh you come, your same self, form and face, in the eyes, mirth still at home. On the lips, that commonplace perfection of honest grace. Yet your errand is, needs must be. To palliate, well, explain, expurgate in some degree your soul of its ugly stain. Oh, you, the good and grain, how is it your why took tinge? A mere dream, never object. Sleep leaves a door on hinge when soul, ere our flesh suspect, is off and away, detect her vagaries when loose, who can? Be she pranksome, be she prude, disguise with the day began, with the night. Ah, what ensued from drafts of a drink hell brewed. Then she, what a queer wild dream. And perhaps the best fun is, myself had its fellow, I seem scarce awake from yet. T'was this, shall I tell you? First, a kiss. For the fault was just your own, tis myself expect apology, you warrant me to let alone since our studies were mere philology that ticklish you said anthology. So I dreamed that I pass exam till a question posed me sore, who translated this epigram by an author we best ignore? And I answered, Hannah Moore.